Hello everybody, my name's Jeff Spalding, and welcome to my Age of Engineering tutorial series. Age of Engineering is by far my favorite mod pack to both play and stream on Twitch. The mod pack is centered around mod interactions, and the progression kind of feels like you're advancing through a technology tree as you advance through its 13 different ages. The recipes in this mod pack were also designed to give you a longer and more satisfying experience. And I know that this can be intimidating to new modded Minecraft players, so I'm hoping that I can kind of be your guide here as we progress through the ages in this absolutely amazing mod pack. All right, so we are starting in age zero here, and we're actually going to learn first just how to build a smeltery. In future episodes, I'm going to show you actually how to automate this as well. And the design that I've chosen tries to essentially reduce the amount of materials that you need to be almost as minimalistic as possible. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's get down and dirty with the math here. Ultimately, to start this mod pack, they're going to have you collecting some clay, some gravel, and sand. One clay, one gravel, and one sand into the crafting grid will create two grout. And then with that grout, you can throw that into a vanilla Minecraft furnace and start making the tiny little bricks that you see in every single one of these crafting recipes. So for the smeltery that I am going to be creating, we are going to need one smeltery controller as seen above me here, which is just a box of bricks. Um, next up, we're going to have the seared tank. And the seared tank has same design, just one piece of glass in the middle. The drain, we're going to make three of these actually, and they just have bricks on the left column and the right column going down. We're going to get two faucets, which we're going to attach to two of our drains. That third drain is going to be a little bit special, and I'll be going over that a little bit later. We're going to make one casting table, uh, which is almost like the pants recipe um, for like armor and such. Casting basin, very similar. It's just the brick's going to be on the bottom middle instead of the top middle. And then seared bricks is kind of going to be like our base to it, as well as some of the pieces that we need in the walls. So the, the one that I prefer to make um, will require one smeltery controller, one seared tank, three drains, two faucets, a casting table and casting basin, and 28 of these seared bricks. Um, I do have like a budget version, so if you want to just go as minimalist as possible, I do have a budget version which has all the same values for our pieces except for those seared bricks, and you only need half of those seared bricks. So all in all in total, 88 clay, 88 gravel, and then 88 plus that one extra glass there for the seared tank um, as far as the sand goes, and then in the budget version we have 55, 55 in 56. All right, let's do it to it and build this beast of a structure. First thing that I would do though, um, in the Age of Engineering mod pack would actually be to try to find a lava source and build this near the lava source. Just because you're gonna need a ton of lava in the pack, that's just a little bonus tip there. Um, so yeah, once you found your prime location for this structure, you're gonna take the seared bricks and lay your foundation down a three by three. Then we will want to place the smeltery controller as well as the seared tank both down. I like to put them opposites, but that's just me. As long as they are somewhere within your build, then it will work. From here, we're going to basically fill in all of the open spots um, on this bottom row. And I actually see this kind of uh, making a little animation here. That means your controller is actually working. So um, that's awesome stuff. Well, we're going to be able to actually throw some ores inside here and smelt them down already. But we wouldn't actually be able to remove anything uh, from the smeltery at this point. So we're going to have to actually place our drains and our faucets to do so. So let's place down two of our drains just like this. And we want to place at least a faucet on each of these two holes there on the sides. Those are going to actually drain the liquid into our basin and our table, respectively. And this final smeltery drain, actually what I, what I want to do with it, you want to place it from inside of the smeltery. And then have this piece 
facing outside. I'm not going to go into detail on why you're doing this step right here in this episode. We will in a future one. Um, however, yes, make sure that this piece is facing outward. And then we just want to fill in and get a second row going on right here. Oops, got a shift click here. But yeah, now when we right click, oh, I missed a piece right here. There we go. Now when I right click, you're going to notice that the slots are a whole lot more now. And if we try to put any of our ores inside it, nothing's really going to happen. That's just because we have to throw a lava bucket into the seared tank. That's going to be kind of its fuel source, if you will. I mean, it can hold up to four buckets in total as well. So because that's a fuel source, it is kind of nice that you have a lava pit nearby. So yeah, now if we throw in our tin ores, we can actually see that some of ours are smelted. It has little bars that kind of show. And I mean, this is some hyper fast smelting right here. So that's really cool. Totally beats using a furnace, which you can't use in Age of Engineering um, to smelt your ores. You can actually visually see all of the different liquid there inside the tank. And then to extract some of that out, you're going to have to right click on one of these faucets and it's actually going to drain into the basin here to create one block of tin. And then there is a way that you can get the ingots using this uh, casting table, but we're not going to go and show you that in this episode. Once again, it'll be featured in a future episode. Now, because I showed you the budget build in our math section, um, I'm actually going to show you kind of what it looks like. I won't go block for block on this one, though. Um, we essentially have our controller and our seared tank. I put them next to each other in this build. Um, here's our backwards drain, kind of close to the lava here. And then we have both of our two drains that's going to be ingots as well as the blocks. So that is the structure that you probably want to build if you are an absolute Minecraft minimalist. And now you are able to smelt ores in the Age of Engineering mod pack. You give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy automating this bad boy with you in next episode. But until then, catch you on the flip side.